Let's talk about some key divorce statistics that have been released by Forbes Advisor. Turns out the U.S. marital rate is actually quite small. The U.S. marriage rate is 6 per 1,000 people. In 2021, we had 689,308 divorces and 1,985,072 marriages. So, more people are getting married than people are getting divorced. That's statistics number one. Moving on to the second one. Is it true that half of all marriages end up in divorce? The answer is yes. That is actually statistically accurate. But let's be clear in saying that that is only for first time marriages. Second and third time marriages have actually higher numbers, meaning higher rates of divorce. When do married couples choose to get divorced? The average lifespan of a marriage is eight years here in the United States. How long does it take to get a divorce? As somebody who's gone through a divorce, mine was fairly quick, just a couple months and it got wrapped up. Now, if you are in a contested divorce, that can take a year, sometimes two. On average, it takes about $7,000 to be able to get divorced in the United States. Well, what happens to those beautiful people after they get divorced? Let's get into it. The people do not give up on love, so let's all take a deep breath. <sighs> love still wins, okay? In fact, the men go on to get married at a whopping 64%, and the women go on to get married at a whopping 52%. So after the marriage has ended, more men tend to get remarried than divorced women. What did you think of those statistics?